Bet you didn't think you'd see me again. Yes, hello my friends, I'm Black and Rose, and I'm here on request of uh, a, twi a Twitter handle, Indigo Jess, who asked me very politely to play Banished. So I'm playing Banished. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, to sum this up, this is a, basically a colony management sort of game. Uh, well, well let, let's get into it. I've already played this before, so let's, uh... Dodd Song. Fair enough. Okay, so, we'll, we'll leave it all as is. I'm not gonna do a full series on this, I'll probably just do a couple of episodes, and we'll go from there. Well, yeah, thank you, someone just emailed me. Radio. Now then, this this game is very much based along the lines. Oh well, here we are. So this is our uh, this is our map. This is where we are. Now let me just uh, let me just uh, pause that for the moment. Now basically, we start out with a barn and a storage site plot area. I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen there because you can't see it. And a bunch of people. Now, basically, the concept is is that these people have been banished from their land, and so they've gone forth to find somewhere to settle, and they've take they've got a few they've got some supplies with them to help them get started. Now then, obviously, everyone is asking for houses. So what's the first thing we do? We start building some houses. And I've already forgotten how to do this. Uh, ah, there we go. Well, let's get a let's just get a few houses down. Now, it's important to get houses, but we also need to get the other resources down first. Now, it has been quite a while since I've played this, so I'll probably get some of this wrong. Okay, so we already have a storage barn and a stockpile. So we have nothing to worry about on that front. The trading post we don't need yet, so there's no worry there. What we do need is, uh, let me just, I, I, again, I'm just trying to get an, a, a feel for what I'm doing. So obviously the first things we need to sort out are our supplies of food. Now we can grow stuff, but we need we need seeds for that. Well, for one thing we need seeds for it. Just refamiliarise myself with all these. Ah, that's what I needed. Yeah, just refamiliarise. Ah, yeah, I needed that. <coughs> okay, so at the moment, these are all the people we have. Right, so let's get some people building. The rest of them are labourers at the moment, which means they're not doing anything specific. Do -do 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 Resources, mass nice resource limits, I don't need that. Priority, paths. Yeah, so I ju just re familiarized myself with the controls. Okay, so. First things first. We need, we need to establish uh, our resources. So, what we can do is we can use this to remove resources. Now, by removing resources, it gets stockpiled. Now, at the moment, we don't actually need anything stockpiled because we have a fair amount of resources already. <coughs> so, let's just start with a hunting lodge. This will allow me to get food quicker. Well, this will, this will give me a supply of food and some leather. The same goes for the Gatherer's Hut. I'll turn you around. The Gatherer's Hut will allow us to gather local f uh, flora uh, for food. Now, how many hut? Now, what do we have in the sense of uh, home? Oh, 
So obviously we need more homes. So let me just uh, see if I can pull up any more statistics. Alright, so currently we have three homes. That's what we have in storage at the moment. So we have a num number of food, tools and hide. We also have some firewood, iron, logs and stone. So we have plenty of things around us at the moment. So let us continue building up some homes. Because <coughs> we can't we can't have people not living in places. And also we need more homes to start building up our um, our population base. Because eventually more people can start entering uh, the village. So let's see. I'm probably doing so much of this wrong, but I really don't care at the moment. Uh, which one is it? I'm just trying to remember where all the stuff is. Now, I know what all the stuff does, but it's just remembering where all of it goes. Right, so, we are going to want this, but we'll put that about there. Now the idea is, is that we establish all the things that we need early. <coughs> right, let's uh, speed it up a bit. And keep an eye on our resources. Now at the moment we are running out of logs. And we are going to need some firewood. Yep, it's already telling me, so let's slow this down. So our stone reserve is low, so we're gonna need more stone. Now where do we get more stone? Well that's quite e that's quite easy. We zone this area here. All this stone is now marked for extraction. Get uh, slightly less builders because labourers will work on getting this stone. Right, we'll just let them uh, mosey on. I'm just trying to remember where all the stuff is. Whoops, a daisy. Right then. <coughs> now, all of these things are important. Okay, so we now have the hunter's lodge ready, but no one's manning it at the moment. So we have to use these prof this professions bit here to get people manning it. Now I'm going to put two in there because getting access to more food is useful. Plus, you have to remember that you have to have varied amounts of food, varied kinds of food as well to keep your people healthy. So you can actually select individuals to see what they're doing, what they're carrying, as well as selecting individual households to see what's going on in them. Now obviously you want to keep your you want to keep your people healthy and you want to keep them happy so that they can keep working. Okay. There are some children. These, this refers to the number of people that are actually available for work in your uh, town, because there are children as well. Oh, what are we running low on? Running low on logs and running low on stone. Right. Oh, we've actually run out of those things. Okay, let's cut down some trees. Okie dokie. Let's get back to this. Oh, hang 
on, I've made a bit of a cock up there. <laughs> right, okay. So now we have... What, what is that? That's the gov... the, the gatherers. The gatherers place there, so... Put a couple of gatherers there. Now the Forester's Lodge is very, very useful. But so is something else. And it's just occurred to me, so I need to get this done pretty quickly. The woodcutters. Now the woodcutters is very useful because they they all convert logs into firewood, which is very, very useful. Now at the moment we don't actually need that, but setting but setting these things up early is very very useful. Right. Right, so we, we still have a bunch of people who are homeless. So let's get that sorted out. Right, that should cover the, uh, the housing situation. Now everything's going to run rather slowly at the moment. In the sense of we're trying, we need to gather more resources, and I need to balance out the number of people that are doing jobs. And I think I actually closed the professions window, which was very dumb of me. Not that. Oh yeah, look. So someone's become an adult. No, not that. There we go. Professions. Okay. We don't need that many builders at the moment. But we do need more labourers, because we need more of these resources gathered, and labourers will be gathering those resources. Now, things like farms, they are very handy to get, and you need to get them early on because it takes a season, well, it takes a long time for their crops to grow. Like, at the moment, we're in early summer, but we have a, a bit of, we have a fair bit of food already, and these locations will gather food from the local uh, the local populace. Aha! Uh, foresters, so... Put two in there. Right, and as you can see, we're getting things like roots, mushrooms, onions, potato well, not potatoes, berries, venison. So, we are gathering a fair few things at the moment. So, we're on, we're on form to surviving at the moment. I wish I'd started a timer on this. Because I don't know how long I've been going on for. There's a clock next to me. Let me just pull something up. Ah, oh, damn it. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so I've been going for about uh, 13 or so minutes. I just pulled up my uh, my audio capture. Uh, hopefully it didn't disrupt the visual there, other than pausing it. Okay. So, we have... We have some more logs to play with. And this area has now been cleared out. So let us pull up this. Now, now these roads are not necessary. At least not to start with, but I start doing them. Okay, let's get another builder going so we can get some of these... Uh, constructs on the way. Now, obviously, we still need more logs. So, we better start cutting down some more of these trees. Now, these lodges I probably should have put further away because otherwise they'll, they won't be quite as useful later on. But... They're fine where they are at the moment. We need to get things established fairly quickly, because as soon as winter starts rolling in, we need to have access to fairly uh, effective supplies of firewood. Excellent. Right then. Let's uh, balance out our people now. We only need one woodcutter. Oh. Oh no, there we go. And we want to have a fair amount of fuel. Our food supplies are reasonable and they are being supplemented 
by these facilities here. So on the whole, we're, we're sort of edging our way along. Food is low. Well, shit. Food is low, and reserve of logs are low. Oh, that's because there aren't any. So what, what do we have? Our firewood is low at the moment, but we do have a woodcutter working on that, so that should work itself out. Right, slow it down a little bit. Okay. Everyone is now been is now in housing. So that's not a problem. So what we need to do is have a look at these other things that we have. A well we don't need just yet, but we will need eventually. Blah 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 blah. We don't really need all of these things just yet. However, we do need to start looking at getting a hold of some of these other things. Now, a fishing dock. That would be quite useful. The question is, do we have enough people to adequately uh, supply it? Right. We do need a herbalist. Because that will help with health, which is starting to diminish. We should also be getting some... Yeah, we're getting some leather. And our food supplies are basically dead in the water. So we are going to need to construct... Well, a means of gathering food. A better means. We need, we need more food. So... Just trying to think how best to do this. It has been so long. And uh, to be fair, this isn't a guide on how to play this, not by any stretch of the imagination. This is just me sort of playing it, and I am out of wood yet again. Give me more wood! Right. Set all that for gathering. Uh, for the food reserves are low. But bear in mind that all these places likely have food stashed in them. I mean, let's just pull up a few. So, inventory, potatoes. Yep, they've got all the food. <laughs> it's, just the, it's just the storeroom is short on food. And I didn't want to turn it up that fast. Firewood is also available. And where does it say firewood? There's firewood. Excellent. Things are progressing rather nicely. And once I eliminate this area, I might turn it into a farming area. Right. Allocated all of this to be chopped down. I have now. Right, let's get some farming going. I think what I shall do is allocate that area there to farming. Okie dokie. Now we won't actually get much from a farm because it's too late in the season, but that's okay. We can set things up ready for the next season. All this stuff is going to be gathered out, and while I'm at it, gather all this stuff. All right, how are we doing? Yep, more food is coming in. Yep, we are surviving at the moment. Okay, so now we need to decide what to put on this farm. So let's pause it. We have access to bean and potato. So let's go with potato. 
Now there's no point in actually planting anything. Well, I can turn that on, but there's no farmers there at the moment, so we don't need to worry about that. And let's just finish up this road system that leads here. Okay. So that can wait there for now because we're not going to be using that farm yet. It's just an allocated space for it. I'm going to build another house and there are reasons for that. So I'm not being insane. I'm also going to construct I don't think a blacksmith will be much use to us yet, but a herbalist definitely will be. And I will construct that there. And we'll get a road going to it. Roads just make it so that everything moves quicker. Radio, so. And we're off. So everything's uh, moving along quite nicely. We're moving into late autumn and here comes the winter season where everything gets colder. Now what starts to happen here is you won't get as much work done during the winter because everyone starts getting cold. So what they do is they go out, they do some work, they go back home to warm up, they come back out, do some more work. This is where you need things like the tailors because they can make warmer clothes so that your people can stay out longer. Yeah, temperature is dropping, but our supply of resources is still relatively stable. So for now, we are okay. And we have a new labourer. That is useful. Okay, the woodcutter's lodge has now, is, has now reached its resource limit. It cannot do any more. So the woodcutter is now basically out of a job. Which means I think he helps out in the same way that the labourers do now. So now we just leave him to it. Obviously we can't plant here yet. But whoops Daisy. Right, we're gonna put two there to work that crop field, but they will not be working it yet. Food res reserves are low, I'm fully aware of that. 